Pakistan, we believe that with the Zimbabwean is a means of a better family, economy, society, and nation. It enhances women's equality, rights, and fulfillment. However, there are many traditional barriers that women face, such as patriarchal value system, reluctance to give land and property rights to women, lack of technical skills to earn a decent living, limited access to education and health care. I come from a country with a population of 180 million people, of which 68% live in the rural areas. Pakistan has launched its largest social assistance program, the Women's Support Program, to help rural women through cash transfer of $12 per month. It not only increases their income, but also enhances their decision making power. Under this program, rural women have access to skill development, micro, micro credit, insu uh, health insurance, and education stipend for girls. Through a, through a poverty survey, 5.7 million households have been uh, identified as eligible. 3.5 million women from these households have all already, already started receiving benefits from these programs. We have three or four other programs as well, which help as the empowerment of rural women. These include giving lands to landless peasant women and, and giving financial and technical services through rural support programs. All these programs help to uh, aim to en enhance capacities of women to produce more food and reduce hunger levels in their families. Present government is taking several initiatives to, re to recognize women's role in nation building. This includes uh, giving national identity cards to all, all women, which enables them to vote, it gives them the right to inheritance, and it, it makes them eligible to get low-cost financial loans. Chairman, we are committed to building a society based on social, uh, based on the principles of social justice and ensuring equal opportunities for all our women. Thank you very much. Agradezco a la distinguida delegada de Pakistán por sus comentarios y ahora ofrezco la palabra a su excelencia, la señora Maikiri Kandiyatu.